So here's the Supra update. So I was taking, planning on taking this and planning on taking this to Exciting, uh, which is next weekend. It is currently Saturday, so it is a week from today. Uh, we still have to strip the bumpers and do a final side skirt and then just the rear. Um, so it doesn't seem like much, but that is the hardest parts to do. And we've been taking all of this off. Uh, so here is how she currently sits. Now she looks awesome like this, right? Uh, I'm, I'm skeptical. Now, this shit's hard to wrap. Like, honestly, the shape. Um, so we have a bit of imperfection. <laughs> Um, and then the way this wrap works, it really uh, looks way better on video. But you see these little ripple, ripple marks. It's just from warping it and moving it. I mean, realistically, it's, it's not horrible. Just these few little bumps and that. And then we've obviously got damage underneath that needs to be properly repaired. Um, so you can kind of see that. Um, but it really doesn't doesn't look too bad and I have plans to put Lambo hinges on it Sam is gonna kill me he's he's like I don't know if I can do this we're gonna try <laughs> um, because the whole effect it needs the doors um, which requires me painting inside the door jams as well so we have to do that and then I do I did initially plan to put some logos on it as well just to kind of tie in the look uh, but I can be strategic on the spots that don't look as great I can put the logos there or try cover them up but yeah I am skeptical that it will be ready for exciting um, but we'll try our best because it's just a fun event that we run and I want, I want people to enjoy the car and I want it to be enjoyed this way. Um, so yeah. Okay, so update, it is Sunday. Uh, we were here till about 11 last night uh, doing some more stuff. The rear bumper's done now. So now we just have to do the rear quarters, the front bumper and the side skirt. So the side skirt we will do tonight front bumper is going to be uh, hard <laughs> and then the little little pods um, yeah and then just little pieces here and there um, yeah I don't think we will get the hinges done Sam will be relieved <laughs> I really want them done but um it's not end of the world. It's not end of the world. Um, I do have a new addition though. We have the new A90 Supra badge on it. Um, I have a brand new steering wheel to put on. Um, and yeah, might do some logos and play around with placement. Um, there's nothing really swanky on it. So I was going to do like Drift Bunny logos, maybe a Blitz logo because it is a Blitz body kit. Um, but yeah, I don't really have like any other branded things in it. Could I do SSR logos? Like the shopping list isn't a shopping list because she hasn't got her fancy things just yet one day. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> um, I am cutting some stickers. Um, I haven't really thought this out too well, uh, but I made these and some other ones. Um, so I think I'm just going to pull out the car. Um, we're just wrapping some final pieces tonight, hopefully. <laughs> um, and kind of start placing logos on and seeing how they go uh, yeah because I don't really know 
I don't have a plan. <laughs> I am just kind of winging it. Um, and because the the wrap isn't like completely perfect, it's kind of like it's kind of like a blessing, really. Because then I can do like wacky extra things like this. Like look how nice this vinyl is. Um, so I did these logos inverted so that this section here, the white section will be pink. So it will, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there is some thought to it, but I am kind of just winging it. I also did a some Blitz logos um, that I am going to put somewhere just because it is a Blitz kit. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, haven't decided what other logos to do, so I think it's just going to be Drift Bunny logos and some bunny motifs that I have done. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. And before I get questions or people asking why don't I don't use this vinyl for products, um, I used to and I've done it a few times for client stuff. Um, but it is just a pain to work with, especially when applying. And that's something that I really look for when I'm making products for customers and for my own brand. Um, if it's a pain to work with, it is not worth it. So yeah, that's why I don't really use this stuff. And this stuff's kind of just been sitting here um, since then, so yeah. So it's now Monday, I am just heating up my lunch. Um, so I started putting some logos on her um, and the bunnies. Um, I even started taking some of the bunnies off. I'm not too sure um, what to do. I get asked all the time, um, I get messages and stuff, people wanting libraries from me or like library designs and um, I don't know what to tell you. I am a graphic designer but I have not done like a proper library design. I totally wing it. Um, the downfall of owning all of the machines that I have is I can make the stickers and I just kind of make them and then like it's like an ongoing art thing like it's just like art I will just like put it on see if I like it um, or like apply it on or cut it on kind of thing uh, but yeah so this is how she's sitting at the moment um, yep I'll uh, I'm sure I'll be doing another video <laughs> uh, with more updates but yeah